Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Let's see, let's pick up from where we left off in the last episode. We're starting to get our steel ingot production going. We saw that you cannot run a blast furnace on a simple biomass burner last episode. We've got um, most of this set up. All we need to do is get power going to this guy. So we'll need to start thinking about building our solar panel array. And I'm thinking this is a good spot right up here. And what we can do, I can clear off some of this, maybe some of these trees if they get in the way. But what I'm thinking we can do is just lay a platform of building blocks right over this, even where this gap is, and start our solar panel array here. We're gonna need a lot of solar power to fuel this, uh, to fuel this blast furnace. If we look at the research tab, just a, a thought here I wanted to share with you. I think I am guessing, but I could be wrong, that we're gonna be able to generate more power. Didn't we see like something that was a, a big power generating machine in here somewhere? I thought we did. Let's see, maybe it's already in our crafting menu. This guy, this combustion generator. I have a feeling that this guy, we're going to be able to generate a ton of power with this. And I'm guessing, this is all a guess. I honestly do not know at this point. <laughs> but I'm guessing maybe that oleum is what that's for. Maybe that's meant to kind of sound like oil. I could be totally wrong, this, this olamite. I could be totally, totally wrong. But I can't mine this with my drill. So I'm guessing maybe it's a liquid. And then we feed it in that combustion uh, generator and it generates a whole lot more power than the solar but we'll see we'll get to that later anyway for now it's going to be solar panel solar panels batteries and transformers up here and then we had have to decide where do we want to route these steel ingots and we need i think we want to get them back to the uh to our main lab and our main lab if you remember it's just directly south of where we're at we set up this production area on purpose right above the lab because it was kind of halfway between the ignium that we needed and the xenoferrite that we needed. So ultimately, once we make these uh, steel beams, we want to get that back to our main factory. And so as I look at the factory, we're coming up on it here. I'm thinking that maybe a good spot to route that could be right along next side these uh, technum rods because if we if we follow this down, I'm going to jump. Let's see here. If we follow this down, this is also kind of an open space in the lab a little bit. And I was thinking if we route our steel beams down here, maybe into a logistics storage container, at least at the beginning, and collect some of these up, we're mainly going to use those steel beams to craft um, craft level two assemblers, craft level two drone miners, and then we're going to use them as input. We'll have to manually probably bring some over to our third research lab construction site when we set that down. And I think these steel beams are the last thing that we're waiting on. Then down the road, if we need to incorporate those steel beams and process them further into other products, we can just keep expanding our main factory here down to the east. I can clear some of this off, level off the land, or do what, I, do what we got to do, but have the base kind of expand this way. So that's kind of where I'm going. And so in this episode, I don't think we need to route, you know, worry about the, the conveyors that are going to bring it down here just yet. I think in this episode, we should focus on the solar power and getting that going so we can power that blast furnace. So let's go and collect some resources. Let's do some crafting while we're here. The first thing I'm gonna grab while I'm here is not that. I'm looking for, well, I'm gonna, let's see. What do I have in here? I forgot what I put in here. Oh, look at that. I got a bunch of building blocks in here. I totally forgot about these. Let's grab some of these because we're gonna be building a big platform for the solar array. Uh, let me just left. Let me shift click, shift primary click, and they just hop on over. It's two, four, six, eight, eight, fifty-one. That looks right. Yeah, good. That's good. That's gonna help a ton. And 
then we have, uh, where do we have our little logistics thing of pecnum rods? Don't we have some of those over here we just saw in the last episode? I thought I had some. I thought they're right over here. Let me look. I thought we had them over here. Technum rods going in. Oh, that's up the hill here. Let me grab some Technum rods. Here's our logistics container for those. We've got a lot, so that's good. I'm going to shift click a few of these stacks. Let's go ahead and build more solar panels. I've got five in my inventory. Why don't we start out with 10? So let's grab five more of those and start crafting those up while we're down here. I'll just right click to get me five more. Then we're going to need batteries. Let's see, we've got one. Let's go with, uh, we did 10 solar panels. Let's go with five batteries. One, okay, so two, three, four, five. We're going to need more power poles. I'll just grab, I might grab 10 more of these while we're down here, or maybe I won't. Looks like I can only build three. What am I short on for these? Looks like xenoferrite plates. Let's go fetch some of those. And while I'm by this uh, storage container over here, I think I put this down between episodes and mentioned it. It was just a general storage. Let's take those level two conveyors that we ended up crafting and slap them in here just to free up inventory. That's our level one. I thought I had another level two something here, but I don't see it, so maybe not. Okay, we're good there. Speaking of level one slope conveyors, let's go ahead and build more of those while we're thinking about it. We need, we're going to need lots of those probably. Yeah, it's saying I can only build two. Oh, I need more. That's level one. Oh, a slope takes two conveyors. Interesting. And machinery parts. So I got to go get my uh, xenoferrite plates. We have a logistics container full of them over here. Let's go ahead and grab a few stacks. And then build more power poles. I think I was doing. So escape out of this. And we'll go in the craft menu and let's go grab five more poles. That'll get us up to whatever, 12 at least. And then I talked about the sloped conveyors. Let's grab a few of those. 20. Let's grab 30 of those. Now let's look at our belt situation. Oh, there's our level two belt. Oh, that's crafting, sorry. Let's get rid of this ignium ore that's just kind of taking space. We don't really need it, destroy it. Let's get rid of some of this biomass. We don't need that, destroy it. Looks like we need some more power lines. Let's just stock up while we're near the supplies. Power line, we get a lot, let's grab I don't know, 40 power line. That lasts a pretty long time. It's not very expensive. Okay, we've got some xenoferrite plates here it's left over. What else can we clean up in here? I could probably get rid of one of these dirts at least. Destroy that. Let's destroy this dirt. Okay, that frees up. So let's get rid of the stone. So we've got solar panels, we've got batteries, we need a transformer. Don't need many of these, but I'm gonna kind of overkill it and grab two. So two transformers, 10 solar panels, five batteries. What are we missing? We've got a good number of building blocks. We've got 850 building blocks, is that right? Let's look, 851, that should be good. What else, what are we missing? Conveyors, we've got 126 here. I've got a little bit of room in my inventory and we have a logistics storage container set up for those right here in the middle. Why don't we grab some of those too and have them on us. So it's less likely we're gonna have to do crafting. And then you can see here, these only stack up to a hundred. So I think I thought they stacked up to more. And we had locked down, I'd locked down this logistics container so it didn't uh, store a bunch. But I'm going to open that up and just go ahead and let it store more. So let's drop some of these guys in. And then let's uh, consolidate some of this. And then we will, we'll 
hop off this guy. And what does that give us? 300? Is that enough? That's probably a lot. Let's grab one more anyway. Okay, we're doing good. Biomass generator. I always call those biomass burners. Okay, we're good there. All that looks good. Let's kill that. And I think we're ready to go go uh, build up our our um, solar panel array to feed that blast furnace. Let's check the map, make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Yep, we're going to go straight north of the base, a little bit, a little bit west. So we'll head up here. And then there's another thing I'm going to show you about these steel ingots that I discovered. Let's see here. We'll head up the hill. Doop, doop, doop. Like a kangaroo. At some point, maybe we'll put some stairs around here where we need to go. Here we are. Look at that. Cool. We're here. Yeah, on the steel ingots. So here's the thing. Let's go down and look at this. Oh, we can't see it now because we got rid of the biomass burner. Anyway, the uh, the steel ingots... Let's look at the crafting tab for metallurgy. So steel ingots are used for the steel beams, right? So we know the blast furnace is going to churn out the steel ingots, and then we want to eventually feed those into assembler and make steel beams out of them. And then we're going to use that for, like I said, the assembler level twos, the mining drone level twos, and then to construct our lab research lab three. And there's, other stuff as well that needs these steel beams. But I was wondering, should we be sending the steel ingots down to the main factory or just converting them while we're over here into beams and then sending the beams down to the factory? And I was thinking, oh, it might be, might be nice to have both the ingots and the beams at the main factory in case we need them. And then I started thinking, well, what gets constructed with steel ingots? I don't see anything other than the steel beams using steel ingots. So if we look in here we'll look together let me know if you see anything that uses steel ingots because i don't see anything this guy uses steel beams this stuff we've already built before we even had steel this guy uses steel beams right i don't see anything using steel ingots another one steel beams here we go here we go I think we've seen all that before this stuff we've all seen before this the advanced machinery parts again steel beams that we've already made obviously the steel beams uses it this is our new uh technum ingots and our technum rods level two and then science packs level two science packs at least don't don't use it i'm not sure maybe level three science packs i guess we'll find out but i did not see anything that used the steel ingots other than crafting them into steel beams. So here we see on the kind of the right hand side of this pop-up for the research lab three, we're going to need 400 steel beams again to complete the construction of the research lab three. But I don't see anything in our crafting menu that requires the steel ingots. And why does that matter? Well, it kind of makes the case for why not just turn them into steel beams here and then send them on down. Send them down. We're going to go head east. And then we're going to go south back to the main lab. Anyway, so I just thought I'd share that with you. Let's go ahead and start our solar panel. And so all, the, all that um, babbling there was just to say, I think we're, we should just make the steel beams here and then send those down. And it might actually have the effect of compressing the belt for us. It probably takes more uh, steel ingots, you know, multiple steel, steel ingots to make a steel beam. I guess I could check that real quick. Steel beams, no, it's a one-to-one. -one. So let me know what you think about that. So we've got a product, these steel ingots, where at least early game, we're not sure how it's going to evolve and this could change. But from what we've seen so far, their only purpose is to serve as a one-to-one -one input for steel beams. Let me know what you think about that. I, I tend to like these different products having more than one purpose. Like it'd be nice to me... It would seem nice to have a use for the steel ingots that's separate from the use of steel beams. You know, some some way to use this product so you have another resource that you're managing in your factory. But let me know what you think. And maybe and I could be mistaken. Maybe maybe down the road as we play on or later versions of the game, they'll have a use just for the steel ingots. 
beyond converting them to steel beams, but interested in getting your thoughts on that. So, okay, we've got our initial little platform here. This again is going to be our solar array. It's going to be big. So let's add some more to it because we want to put batteries and solar panels, power poles and transformers up here. We also need to connect, make sure that this is connected all the way down to this low voltage power grid here. So let's get that started, and then I might do a time lapse to finish this. But let me show you what I'm thinking of doing, or how I'm thinking of doing this. We need to ladder this down with building blocks and make sure that they're all connected. So I think we can just follow these steps, and I don't need to do much digging, if any, to connect this up. And then later like we did in other parts of our factory. Maybe we will, maybe we will um, put some stairs and put some lighting and uh, make this look nicer than it does. And now I do need to get to the digging. So we've got our building blocks here recessed into the ground. And I wanna do that here too. Before I forget, the first one I wanna do is right under here, cause this is gonna be the one that's connecting everything up. So let me drop this guy here and then here, and then I am gonna drill out a bunch of this dirt and extend our low voltage power network all the way over to this ladder, which takes us up to the next platform. So here we go. All right, we're back. That should be more than enough to just connect up our power grid. I did a little bit extra just because I know we're going to have to drill all this out eventually. So I knocked out a little bit more. Okay, now we should be connected. Now we want to start hopping down our solar panels up here. We might need, yeah, eventually we're going to obviously need some stairs or something here. So let's see how we want to do this. We want a lot of solar panels. So let's just start dropping them down and see how things play out. I'll kind of play it by ear here. All right. That's not a solar panel. That guy is. So we'll rotate this. And let's start about, let's leave a little room to walk back there, one row. How about right here we'll start? And we'll just space these one, up, one apart. This and this. And I think, what do we have? We brought 10, right? Let me make sure I'm leaving a space. Just one is fine. That guy's a little too far back. Pop him here. And then that's four. Let's do one more, five. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to extend this platform out here. We still should be in good shape with, uh, yeah, with building blocks. So we want to come out. I actually want to come out pretty far because I think I'm going to have the batteries come out this way as well. So let's just grab that. And we'll knock out these little nuisance plants that got in our way. Boom. Wow, I used a lot of building blocks there. I've only got 208 left. All right. Boom. Okay, so we've got five solar panels there. Let's go drop five more just mirror these with the control panels facing each other. And how about we do three apart? So another question for you, while I drop these down, there are some players of these kinds of games, these factory games, even, even uh, the series I've got now, the other series we're going right now, uh, my factory town Let's Play series, you know, that's a game, this is a game, Factorio, I'm not sure about Satisfactory. 
but there's some people who really like to compress the factory, you know, make it as dense and compact as you possibly can. And it gives you, it gives you some extra little puzzles to solve and some challenges by doing that. And it kind of makes the game more fun. Let me know what you think. Is that how you play? Do you like to make the most compact setup possible and conserve as much space as possible and make it as dense as you can? Or are you kind of more laid back about it and kind of, kind of like I'm doing in the, with this design, just leaving space and kind of making it, making it look nice and not worrying about the footprint of, uh, of the factory. Kind of curious to see what you think. For this game, I'm definitely uh, erring on the side of just keeping some things spaced out so we're not cramped in. All right, let's see. We've got one power pole, another power pole. We're probably going to need one more. So let me extend this out a little bit. I'm probably going to be a little conservative with these uh, building blocks at this point. Let's go. Let's see. Let's come back. I don't know, four more, three more. Let's just do three more for now. Can I get another power pole? Power poles go in between. So we're going to need one right, right about here. And then let's wire up this, or no, let's get these power poles. We're going to mirror the power poles. So let's just drop these down. Boom. 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 Looks good. Everything nice and symmetric. Here we go. Power poles. Let's wire all these guys together. I'm going to start there, go here, go here. I'm going to connect these two rows of power poles right at the beginning, right when we walk up. And then we'll go back down and get this one and get this one. So it doesn't need, this doesn't need to be a grid as long as they're all connected. Now let's wire up our solar panels to these guys. Boom, boom, and boom, boom, and boom, boom. And then this guy will be the only one on this pole for now, but I'm sure we're going to expand this. Even with 10, I don't think it's actually going to be enough long-term to uh, run our blast furnace, but we'll get it started. So we'll go boom, boom, and wire that guy up. Here we go. Two more. Bam, bam. Okay, now we need a couple more things. We need transformers. I think I brought two. And we need batteries. Let's see. So I'm thinking let's continue with the power poles in a symmetric design. Let's come out. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Maybe, see when they're so close together, it doesn't look so great. Let's put the power pole right here. How does that look? Looks great, glider cat. All right, that'll work. Let's put one here. And then I'm going to run a transformers next to these guys between the solar panels and the batteries. Oh, it looks like I need a little more building block space here. Let's just do it. Finish this out. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with uh, building blocks. I think we're going to have enough for what I want to get done in this episode. Again, we're still going to have to beef this power plant up. In fact, once we have everything running, we're probably going to have to go revisit our second xenoferrite mine and ramp up the power there because it's also got a blast furnace that is just sucking all the power in that we we can possibly feed it. So let's wire up these power poles. We'll follow a similar pattern. We'll bridge them the different rows here bridge them right at the front as we come this way and then we'll just connect them down the row boom now we want to plop down our transformers i brought two i'm going to put those guys right next to these power pole and maybe we'll do maybe we'll do every other one we don't really need this many each one is able to send 10 i think each one is 10 Mega, mega jewels. We'll see. We'll see once we get it all hooked up. And then we'll also check the uh, power grid and make sure that we have the 10 solar panels and the five batteries that we're going to end up with here and the two transformers that everything's wired correctly. Let's hook these guys up now to the power poles. That one can go there. This guy can go there. And now it's time for batteries. 
I kind of want to have these roughly and or exactly in the same row general area as the other ones so let's or lining up with the solar panels i'm trying to say <clears throat> my voice is getting a little hoarse apologize for that let's do this boom boom and then bring this guy over here we kind of do these back to back and we leave a row for our to walk through and look at the panels if we want here is a block that had a plant and apparently i didn't fill it Boom, that's taken care of. And we've got one more solar panel, or one more battery, I think, to place. Let's do that. It's going to go right up next to this guy. Boom, boom. All right. Not too shabby. Now we got to power up the batteries. And if we look, this power pole, we've already got two connections here. This one's got three. So if I were to power up this one, these two batteries on this power pole, then I wouldn't be able to expand our power network this way if I wanted, because these guys can only have five connections. So I'm gonna put another row of power poles, even though it's getting a little crowded with power poles, I'm gonna put another row right behind these batteries. And I think I'm gonna do it. They're gonna be kind of close together. I mean, I could do one more just for, for looks. Maybe I will leave one more space, you think? There we go. And then this one, how about right there? And we'll follow that same pattern. I think these are lined up. All right. Let's do this to this. Another thing I want to share with you while I'm thinking about it is uh, I noticed in some of my videos here that, man, when I pan left or right, it can be pretty jarring. It moves pretty quick. And I did look at them to see in the settings for the game if they had a mouse sensitivity setting. And they don't have that yet. Sometimes I, I have other games with that it's like this as well, where when I pan left or right, it really moves quick and I can just adjust the mouse sensitivity for that particular game. And that's kind of nice. So I actually requested that on the Discord as a, maybe a future feature they can implement. In the meantime, if it gets really bad, let me know in the comments if that's annoying, how fast it, it pans left and right. If so, I will look at um, changing my mouse settings just in Windows. So, it, it, you know, for when I set up these sessions, if I can remember. But all right, enough of that babbling. Let's go ahead and wire up our batteries and then we'll check and see if everything is powered up. So battery to pole. And I think I can get three batteries on a pole here. Let's see. Let me restart that. Okay, pole to this middle battery and pull to this guy. All right. So now that guy's got five connections. Boy, did I just create the same problem I was talking about? So let's see. I wanted to be able to keep expanding that direction. Okay, I just slid off our little platform here. Oh man. I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse. <laughs> Hold on. Stay tuned. Got to get up this hill. I got to get up on that platform. And to make this easy for the moment, I'm just going to put some dirt here so I can hop up. So yeah, look at that. I've got five on there. I guess I can't do that. So this guy's got four connections. I thought by sending another one over here, I'd be okay. Let's see. What can I do a little different? A little different. Hopefully you can see what I'm getting at. This power pole I'm looking at right now has four connections. This guy has five connections. And the problem with having five connections is if I want to go out this way, I can't use this pole to do it. And I always, I kind of always want to be able to expand when I want. So what we can do, hmm, i got to think about this one. There is a way I could leverage one of the extra connections here for one of the batteries, but then it looks kind of goofy. Hmm, how can we do this? Let's see. 
Maybe we'll come back to that later. I don't have an easy solution right now. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that when we need to expand. Let's finish up what we're doing. Let me know in the comments if you got any ideas. I'm gonna wire this pole up to this battery and the last battery, and then we'll check the power network. I think everything should be connected here now. Oh, well, looks both transfer. Oh, yep, both transformers are connected. We've got all the batteries are connected, five of them. Let's take a look at the power grid, what it says. So it looks like we're producing three millijoules. We've got transformers that will support up to 10 megajoules. Sorry if I said milla, megajoules. Our batteries are now charging. And let's go check and see if the blast furnace was working. I didn't notice it pooping smoke, but maybe one of you guys saw it while I was scrolling around here. Okay, looks like it is working. It's got 100 steel ingots ready to go. And we're right at the end of this episode. Cool. So we got the solar panel going, this, the initial solar array. It looks like at least in the daytime, when we've got all those solar panels pumping, it's going to produce enough power to keep this uh, blast furnace going. I don't know if it's going to have enough power to charge up the batteries during the day and enough to run this thing all night, but it will at least get us started and we can always beef it up later. Next episode, we need to think about how are we going to get, how are we going to get the uh, steel ingots converted into steel bars and then sent off east a bit and then south to our main factory. But we will tackle that in the next episode. Shouldn't be too bad. We're going to have to dig out some of this and ex expand our little um, low voltage power network. Should be easy, easy, easy going. Let's take a look up here. One thing we didn't do in this episode, and I guess we can do it right here at the end. Sometimes we do this at the end. Let's look at the research and see if there's anything we want to grab now that we can grab. I think we're just about full up. Yeah, we. I think we've researched everything we can until we get that lab going, the third lab. And what we're doing now is going to help that. As soon as we get these steel beams going and we route those guys back to the main lab and store some of them up. We can uh, create the third research lab and we'll be all set. Cool. So for now, this is GliderCat getting ready to sign off. Just before I do, I want to thank you so very much for watching these videos and keeping with me through this series. If you have, if you've made it this far, boy, I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the content and, and enjoying the game. Looks pretty cool to me. Like I said, I haven't seen any jankiness, any, any real bugs to speak of. And there's a lot to do. There's still a lot to do. Like we're not, I don't even know if we're halfway done. I kind of have a sense we're approaching the halfway point or somewhere around there, but we'll just see. It could be that uh, things get a lot more complicated as we start producing these more advanced products. So that's it for now. Again, thanks again for watching. This is GliderCat signing off saying, I will see you in the next episode.